Okay, in part one of the technical drawing tutorial, I just showed you how to create some real basic shapes like cubes and cylinders using a certain technique for doing technical drawings. Uh, now I want to show you how to actually apply that to something a little bit more complex. So I have this illustration of a flash drive here. And I want to take that and make it uh, more of an isometric view. So I'm going to, first of all, because I don't want to destroy this drawing, because I need it for the front view of my technical drawing, I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to drag it to the side and hold down the Option key. And then I'm going to rotate it. So it's upside down like that. And then with the shear tool, I'm going to click right about in the center of it and then grab somewhere along the top and just kind of lay it down. It's really easy, again, to distort this if you're not careful with the direction that you're dragging. So you just want to make it look like it's laying flat. And it may scale up a little bit when you do that, so I can shrink it down a little bit. But once I have that, I'm going to first of all separate these parts because I want to create the body and the little metal part of the USB drive separately. So I'm going to start with the part down here. So I'm going to select the outside shape of it. I'm not selecting all the text in the middle because I don't actually need any of that in this duplicate. So just select the outside, click and drag downward and then hold down the Option and Shift key. And just drag it as far down as it needs to be to mimic the thickness of the actual USB drive. If I drag it down here, way too much. If I don't drag it far enough, it's going to look uh, incorrect. So probably right about here. And just always make sure you let go of the mouse button first whenever you're dragging with the Option and Shift. Otherwise, it won't make a duplicate. So now I've got these two halves, and I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to trim on the very furthest left point that I can get to. And then I'm going to trim at the furthest spot to the right. Now this one actually has a curve. So when I say trim it at the furthest point, I don't mean the actual anchor point. I mean look as far as you can go onto that object and click right there. Missed. Click right there. Same thing with the upper one. Trim right at that point there. And then I'll go over here and make this fourth cut there. Okay, so once I have that, both these pieces are cut into two. I'm going to select the top half of the bottom shape and hit delete. Then I'll select the bottom half of the top shape and go up to object hide selection just to get it out of the way. From there with the direct select tool I can select the two anchor points on the left side and hit command J to join them and then select two points on the right side and hit Command J. Now I should be able to go into Object Show All. And I notice that, that line, you can see the blue line, but you don't, you don't see the actual line. It's because the overall outside shape here is filled with white and it's covering up that line. So I just need to go to Object Arrange Bring to Front. and I have something that looks like that. Now I will have to take the line tool and just add a little line right there to make that look complete. Uh, there's some other things you could do too. If there was a seam, this was a plastic casing and there was a seam in the middle, I could actually duplicate this line that I already have here by holding the Option and Shift key. Just duplicate it down a little bit, 
maybe decrease the stroke a little bit so that it looks a little bit thinner so you can tell that it's a seam and that comes out looking something like that and then I just need to do the same thing up here select the square shape drag it downward with option and shift and trim those four corners trim these two up here and then I can select the top half of the bottom shape and delete it select the bottom half of the top shape and hide it and then I should just be able to join those points like that do an object show all and object arrange bring to front so I can see that line again and then add the little line right there just to finish that up okay now I could if I wanted to take the rectangle tool and try to draw the, the little cut in that a USB drive has so I'm just going to draw a rectangle and kind of line that up probably decrease the stroke on that one also so it's a little bit thinner I'm going to borrow this line up here so that it has the same angle put it right there and then I should just be able to take this piece move it down here and then just make sure that the overall outside shape has a white fill so that it covers up that lost a piece here Okay, so the end result looks something like that. 